is Pixelania Twix and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another one and done for my one and done series. And if you've been here for a while, you probably recognize this game. This is called Alchemy Garden and it is currently in early access. Now this is Alpha 2.6.3 and we have been in this game before. We visited before a long, long time ago and I decided that we need to get back and see what's going on because there have been some updates since the last time I took a gander at this game. So um, looks like there was some spooky pocus content. I don't know what this is, might be from Halloween. I'm not sure there's some plant care improvements. Looks like there was some weather added and just other new content like greenhouse, outdoor lamps, garden fountains, garden benches, um, gameplay improvements, graphics improvements. So there's a new GUI design um, and the garden soil color has been changed from brown to green. Some hot fixes too. Plants consume 50% less water, blah, blah, blah. So without further ado, let's hop into the game. Uh, so this is definitely going to be a new game. I, I have not played this in a while, so I'm not sure how this is going to go, but I do know that I have a nemesis. So this is going to be an actual tutorial <laughs> um, for me again, because it has been a while. So there's my bed. Looks like, I feel like this has changed. And maybe not. I could be wrong. Um, maybe it's the same, but let's go out. Okay, now the last time I was here, there was a mailbox. Okay, I was going to say, is the mailbox here? Um, I do remember um, playing this before that you don't want to pick up all the quests at once. You want to pick up quests that you know that you can get done within a certain amount of time because there is a time limit on quests. So, all right. So the first quest here is uh, Welcome to Alchemy Garden. Um all right, so these small tasks will help you to introduce you introduce yourself to the main mechanics of the game. First, collect a few leaves of bird's nest and daisy petals. You can find them all over the map. Press J to open the journal and E uh, press to harvest plants. So basic um, commands. And so right now we need to fill a request for two birds nests and two daisies we get 130 gold and we also get a hoe and a water can so just as a pro tip from what i remember on the last time i played there are going to be quests that give you the um, items that you're going to need to work in your garden or what have you you don't have to buy them off of the vendor even though the vendor will have them don't waste your money First, go through the steps, go through the quests to see if you'll get those items. If not, then you want to start buying the things that you need. But just a pro tip, don't do it. I didn't do it the last time, but I had been tempted. And so, yeah. All right, so we did not complete this task. We need to go ahead and do that. This is our main task. But we will get weekly tasks. Those are the ones I'm telling you, do not just pick up them up all at once. Um, because you only have a week, and I don't know how long a in-game week is, but you only have a certain amount of time a week to get it done. And um, I don't think that everything is available at once, to, or and some things are harder to find, or what have you. So, all right, so let's go ahead and um, look at the journal again. So we need two bird's nests and two daisies. All right, once again, really, really love the art style in, in this game. Um, I don't think I can see myself, so this is only in first person. Um, so right away, we got birth nest. Sweet. Now, what is this uh, question mark? Okay, welcome to my garden. You can use all the soil to plant and decorate the garden of your dreams. Use the hoe for till the soil and place the seeds. You will have to water it once a day to grow properly. There are some plants that require more time to grow than others. Remember that you can also use decorative furniture in your garden to create unique spaces. I do love a good farming build, you know, decor building type game. These are like really up my alley. Here's some daisies. So it looks like everything we need is right here. So just in case, we're just going to grab all of this. And this stuff does grow back. So what do y'all want? Who's texting? Who wants me? I want to know. Okay, so did we get this done? Um, yes, yeah, so complete that. 
That was super loud. So we have another task here. So I think that all our tasks are going to be right here at the mailbox. Um, so the next one is a nice bouquet. Throughout the world, you will find all kinds of plants. Sometimes when you collect plants, you will get their seed. These seeds can be planted in your garden using a hoe and a watering can. You can create um, beautiful gardens or simply sell and use the plants you have. It all depends on you. So three tulips and one rose. So you get a mortar and a pickaxe. So um, let me look at my inventory. How do you how do you check your inventory? Is there a way? Let's see. Let's check this out and see if there is a way to open up our inventory. Uh, access inventory is tab. Okay. So that's different. All right. So let's grab this. Put this here. Put this here. What is this? Fiber birdseed nest. Okay. Bird nest seed. Did I say birdseed nest? Okay. So let's let's go ahead and plant. All right. This is this is where. Let's start. Let's start here. All right. And then I can access. And then I can water, right? All right, so it's been water. We overwatered it. Sorry. So you can overwater plants. That must be new because I don't remember that being a thing. And I think you can actually grab your pitcher from any water source. So the last time we came here, there was only two people in the game. There was actually three, I think. There was, maybe it was two. I don't know. But, um... Let me just pick things while I'm goat drunker. Let's just grab stuff. We need um, some roses and... I forgot that just that quickly. Roses and some tulips. Tulips. Is that a rose? Is that a rose? This is a rose. Um, what is that noise? Oh, that's the... Some weird plants. Some weird plants. Let's look at our inventory. I don't want to, like get to oh do we have we don't have an axe yet so there's some coal have to keep note of that there's some plants that are definitely going to be harder to find they're a little rare um also i do know that you can upgrade to different um buildings i don't know if this is one of them but there's one in the city Alright, I'm gonna have to slow down a little bit. The first person kind of makes me a little dizzy. I think I managed managed I think I managed <laughs> mentioned that before. What? <laughs> what? Um oh. Well that's weird. <laughs> Listen. If you only knew. That scared the mess out of me. That scared me. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's pick up the tulip. I'm going to give that place some wine. My mirrors. I'm just going to go this way. Is he, like, is, am I buying from him? Uh-uh. He's creepy. Vendor. Okay. That is creepy, y'all. I'm not kidding. So you can buy jack-o'-lanterns, tombstones. So if you want to go dark with it, you can. This is not my normal aesthetic. You know, but for some people, this is. So what is this? Oh, <laughs> that's creeping me out. Okay, the picture switched up a little bit to give me a little spooky ambiance. Oh, so there are more townspeople really cool okay yeah before there was just like one or two um i do remember this guy oh he's got a wife i think this is the same guy i feel like it is um so this is kind of more of my aesthetic here it's a little pricey i'm broke right now this is cool and what does she have so she has seeds i don't want to buy seeds i think i might actually have some so I have a tulip seed. Um, 
We need two tulips and what? A rose, I think? Three tulips. Okay, so I need one more tulip. So why don't we go ahead and pay attention to that? Um, because there is a day-night cycle. All right, so before I got really interrupted by the um, scary jack-o'-lantern, this is one of the other houses uh, that you can buy. It's kind of cool. It's for 30 gold. Um, can you talk to these people? Cornelia Citrine. Oh, so we can now talk to people. My dream is to be a famous jeweler, and I'm convinced that in Rosewoodville, there are unique precious stones. If I could acquire them, what beautiful jewels I could create. So I have thought maybe we will probably, maybe we will probably, we probably will come across her, um, like, I don't know what do you call it, like um, a quest that we'll need to do or some kind of fulfillment. Let's see, her name is Ada Fable. Rosewoodville is a beautiful place, don't you think? The name comes from the great Wote Rosewood that is in the center of town. It is not yet known exactly its age, but I'm sure it is more than a thousand years. Okay, so there's nothing from her that we, any hint of it having to do something for her. So here's another quest. So what is this? Gardener assignment, a, a gardener is required to provide the plants listed below. I guess we can look out for these. I'm not gonna pick these up. But you get stone, alchemist. So we we don't know anything about alchemy quite yet. Hans Old Brush. As a child, I used to help my grandmother crush herbs in the mortar. It was so much fun. I learned a lot about herbs. Did you know that there are different qualities? The rarer the herb, the better pro uh, properties it will have. No, I didn't know that. Okay, so yeah, there used to be just like one or two people. There are a ton of people right now, and that's actually cool. Um, now, I meant to finish this off a while ago, but I was wondering if they ever um, expanded the island. Because um, that was kind of one of my main concerns is being um, kind of limited to a small area uh, because it could feel repetitive and... Okay, I do remember, I think I remember this place. Is there like a, okay, no, that's, that's a dead end. Could have sworn, did I finish? Yep. Okay, that's really loud. Uh, this kind of looks familiar. I thought there was like another area over here, but maybe I'm wrong. Is this, this must be it over here. Gonna, what's this? Yeah, it's over here. That's what I thought, that's what I thought. So, this is like the swampy area. So, it looks like right now there's just two biomes. There is like the foresty area, and then there's the swamp. And um, I think, I think that was it. Yeah, because you could buy this. And I'm just kind of walking through to see if there was like another... Um, I'm gonna just pick flowers while I'm at it. Purple snow, so that's a new flower. Tab. Okay. Just wanna get some of these while I'm looking at it. Um, is this the rosewood tree? It's pretty. That wasn't there before, I don't think. This definitely looks new. It's really pretty. Yeah, so, oops, did I get it? Yeah. I'm thinking this is it. There's nothing else to see in here. Yeah, this is it. So, the area right now is very small. I don't, like I said, I don't know if they plan on expanding it. Um, I'm hoping they will because it um, 
could get repetitive if it's just these two areas. Um, granted, the woodsy area is a, a larger spot, but the swamp area is very small. So it is definitely in need of some expanding. But I do like what they have for now. And maybe, maybe you can actually leave the island. Right now, it just looks like you can't. But this looks like there's going to be more up here, right? Like this could be plains, a plains biome. I don't know. Maybe I play too much Minecraft. I don't know. But yeah, it looks like it uh, looks like it can be expanded. So I'm gonna go back home, turn this in, I'm going to avoid that shop. Um, where am I? Y'all, I was talking so much about it being a small area and yet, and yet, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Okay, here we go. Wow, okay, so do I, did I get a pickaxe? Sweet, now your tools can break. So, um, let's just extract some coal. Oh gosh, that was loud. Okay, so now we just need an ax. I need to see if we can fill this up. You need at least one empty bottle. Okay, so you have to have a bottle, which is strange. All right. So, using the mortar, now that you know where to find plants, it's time to become a true alchemist. Use the mortar in your house to crush the plants and coal. For this task, you will need five of each. Do not worry with a little skill. You will get them quickly. So, we need five grade one herb powder and five coal powder. So we have some coal and a reward would be an alchemy table, 10 empty bottles and a hatchet. All right, so while we're doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead. Um, actually, let me get back into my inventory and I'm going to plant some of these seedables. Um, where's my other plant? Did it die? Didn't I plant something here? I could have sworn I planted something there. Did I, did I not? Oh, because I, so it's just the one little sprinkle, that's it? So did I kill it? So do I kill plants? Okay, this is the part that I didn't like because I can't get these even and it's gonna bother me. Okay, so a little bit. Okay, so just like a quick click and you've watered the plant. If you hold it too long, you've overwatered the plant. And I assume there's, um, it kills off the plant because, I don't know. Okay, so do put this down. So I can drop, let's just drop these here. All right. So I have one. So it said I need to do five. Can I just do more than this? Oh, oh my gosh. I forgot this was a mini game. So the more you do that, the more, I don't know. I think the more bubbles you click, the more items you get. I forgot that that was a mini game. See, refresh your course. So we can turn this in now. Uh, let me get this off my screen. So let's, let's go to the journal. Next task, wet tasks. In alchemy garden, you'll find different biomes, each with its vegetation. Uh, explore the swamp and get the following plants. So we actually got all that, all that. So now we get four fences. And my dog is either snap. She is snoring. Okay, so we completed that task. Um, no, we didn't. We need one more swamp hibiscus and one more purple snail. Can we hop down this way? Let's take a quickie, short cutie. Oh my gosh, she is going to town, y'all. She's going to town. He's probably here. 
All right. Um, this is the wrong way. I'm gonna take a shortcut. For nothing. Let's talk to France, Francois to pay. Bonjour, alchemist friend. After a while traveling, I decided to stay in Rosewoodville. It's very inspiring. Rosewoodville. That's a lot to say. Like Roseville, but Rosewood. Rosewoodville. I don't know. There's something about that name that doesn't roll off the tongue, you know. Um, it, we spoke to Ada, right? Oh, there's a new alchemy shop? What's this? Current prices, levitation potion. So basically, you craft and sell, okay? That's what we do. This is That's our job. Craft and sell. All right, so let's head over to the swamp and get what we need, which is one hibiscus flower. And while we're over here, let's do some mining. Grab some. Ooh, ooh. I don't know why this startles me, but it does. It's so loud. Okay. Okay. Let's let's grab these, the lilies and the tulips. And it's getting dark. See how easy that is? They come back. What is this? Sable Miner. Got that too. Alright, so that's all I wanted to do is kind of come back into Alchemy Garden and take a look and see what new things were added. Um, again, we will probably do another episode of this because I didn't do too much this time around. I just kind of did a little exploring to see if there was anything new as far as like the world is concerned. And of course, new NPCs were added. So getting to talk to a few more people was kind of cool. I kind of wish that they were voice acted a little bit. You know, kind of like my time at Portia, not, not always voice acted, but sometimes. Because um, I don't always like to just do a lot of reading. And there isn't really a lot of reading. So, um, yeah, but definitely um, did enjoy what I've seen so far, at least as far as the changes are concerned. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, this uh, video. And we will be back until next time. My name is Pixelated Twix. Ciao.